M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Look at this new functions of the FTM500DR. We do now have the instruct the full instruction manual available as well on the Yesu site. But I just thought I'd skim through this and look at what they're, you know, the basically the instructions they're giving us. So you've got on top of the radio, you've got these up and down arrows. That's looks to me like it's the A and the B band. Then you've got the DISP, switch between dual receive and scope operation. Now a big thing is the touch and go and search and go operations. Search and go, touch on the scope to access the sub VFO dual receive. Touch and go, long touch on the scope to rewrite the main VFO. And you've got some uh, nice descri description there and photographs. Easy channel checking with PMG function. We've used this before. Press and hold the PMG key up to five channels. You can remove them as well. Group memories in the same frequency band by MAG. Memory auto grouping. See that memory mode. Press the band key, switch group. Underneath that, we've got example when the VHF group is selected. Memory channel list. VHF band group selected from memory channels. Okay, that's one of those things I'll have to use it to, to uh, you know, to fully understand it. VFO band skip function recall only the bands you use. Yeah, I can see that. So you can sort of unselect bands. I get that. Uh, CFL customized function list. Yeah, so when you go into the function menu, you do get a list. It's like a hundred long. You can customize that to how many have we got here? Two, four, six, maybe ten at the most. I do think this was a bit of a backward step. I feel like the tiled system was a lot easier because you're only gonna you can only customize these ones here. But the function list is 100 long, at least with the tiled method, you tapped the tile, say, for example, APRS, and you had all your APRS functions. I have noticed, though, as you scroll down the very long list, there are headings as well uh, to each section. Makes it a bit easier, but I still think if you look at FTM 200 videos, very long winded way of doing things. So and then it says here setting method. Uh, press and hold the band key. Press the function knob. OK and press any key to complete. So that fits in with the VFO band skip function. Add function to the, they call it CFL, customized function list. It's basically shortcuts. C4 FM Digital has good sound quality, stress-free AMS that automatically adapts to the operating mode. Hmm, stress-free. So anyway, that's just automatic. You know, if you receive analog FM or digital, it's gonna automatically switch. We've always had that. Display the location information of multiple members in a group. That's group mode. Looks very nice on the FTM 500. Remember, the it is a very nice radio. It is like the Rolls Royce of C4 FM. The screen, I've seen some video, and the screen is, is beautiful, you know. Um, so it's a bit smaller than I'd like, but it's actually it's still bigger than the FTM 300-200. So group mode key, DX key, hold that down to get to get into your hotspot and then you can change things on your hotspot without having to actually use the dashboard of your hotspot. You can just use the radio, which we've seen that before. SDX to me is like a preamp. That's what it's like. It's like a preamp. That's your AB key, display key on off, seen that. So number one, it says it here, group mode two, group mode key. And it also sets the DGID number if you ever use that. Press the DX key, press and hold the DX key, yeah, we know that, access wires, X, A, B, it's main and B as well, main band, sub band, display key, yeah, all that, we've seen all that. Dual receive screen, press the DISP to change screen, scope screen, yeah, just going over the same thing really. I do think it's a very good quick manual, actually, I do, I think it's excellent, quick back function, press the back to the previous screen I've seen that so what happens if let's say you accidentally change channel you can hit the back button and the radio for a certain amount of seconds will remember where you were and you, and it's a quick okay but I mean look at it it's, it's a lovely radio it's a very chunky head unit it does have a built-in microphone on the right hand side here microphone connector speaker underneath the thing I've been told is that the connection between the front head unit and the main unit is not actually RJ45 8 pin, but I don't know if that's true. Let me test it when I get the radio. So otherwise you've got number number seven, main volume squelch, number eight, sub volume squelch. The, the channel VFO is always this one, always the big one. Main VFO knob, um, 10, 
function knob, that'll be your main menus. You hold down, press that, get your main menus. 11, sub VFO. Let's have a look. Sub VFO. Oh no, so there is, there is a sub VFO knob, so that's good. You can change the channel using the smaller knob, so correct, I correct myself there. You can use that. Press PMG, which is number 12. Yeah, push that to right. Uh, press the yeah, VFO memory mode. Press and hold the VM key. Band key, change the bands, which is 14 here. And back key. They've, you know, I mean, I do really like this radio. I think it's a fantastic looking radio, and I think we're gonna, I'm going to really enjoy using it. But I don't feel like we're getting anything new, to be honest, for double the price. That is just my M0FXB, my personal opinion. The FTM 300 pretty much does all of this, if you ask me. Uh, it probably hasn't got the PMG mode. Obviously, it's not touchscreen. That's a big one. It's the touchscreen as well. So you do get more. But is it is it worth £640 more? Let me know. 7.3, all the best.